Welcome to our how to play video for Caffeine Hit, the strategy card game for caffeine lovers. The aim of the game is to be the most caffeinated by placing a variety of drinks cards on your table. There are six different types of drink cards and five different action cards. Those are the red ones. To start the game, remove the turn and reference cards and give the remaining deck a good shuffle. Deal 5 cards each and give each player a turn card. This is a handy reference of what you can do on your turn. When it's your go, you have 4 options. The first is to boost your score by placing up to 5 drinks of the same colour on your table. If you feel like making enemies, you can attack another player by placing up to 2 drinks of the same colour onto their table. You can use the decaffeinated cards to do this. Your third option is to play an action card. Remember, those are the red ones. Let's pause and have a look at how those work now. With a drink spill, you can take any drink card from your or an opponent's table and put it in the discard pile. Oops! Loyalty cards can represent any drinks card, but you must declare what it's representing when you play it. With to-go cups, you can hide up to four drinks of the same colour and place them on your table in secret. Complimentary cookies can be placed on any single orange or green card to double its points. That means extra negative points on a green card. Finally, a drinks carrier means you can play twice on your turn before refilling your hand. This means you can place two colours of drinks cards on your turn. Let's finish talking about what you can do on your turn. If you don't like your hand, then you can throw away up to three cards and then refill your hand from the draw pile. After playing your turn, you should always have 5 cards. Play then moves on to the left. Once the draw pile is empty, continue playing until one of the players runs out of cards in their hand. At this point, everybody else must throw away any cards they're still holding and move on to scoring. Green decaffeinated cards and orange tea cards simply score the points on the top of the card when you place them on your table. Blue iced coffees and yellow coffees only score in sets. On your turn, you are allowed to play incomplete sets, but you'll need to complete them by the end of the game to score the points. Brown cold brew cards are worth 12 points each. They're strong, but be careful. If you have more than one on your table at the end of the game, you get no points for your brown cards. The final drinks cards are the purple espresso cards. They are part of the espresso challenge. Ooh. A single espresso card has one bean in the top left hand corner and a double espresso card has two. The person with the most beans on their table at the end of the game wins the espresso challenge and is awarded 12 points. Everybody else gets no points for their purple cards. Oh no! When you're ready to score, reveal any hidden cards and find out the winner of the espresso challenge. Discard any cards which don't score. This means incomplete sets and if you didn't win the espresso challenge, your purple cards too. If you have more than one brown card, discard those too. Next, add up all the points from your remaining drinks cards. Remember to subtract those sneaky minus points and to add any points gained from action cards. The player with the most points wins! Yay! And that's it! Make sure to share your best games using hashtag CaffeineHitGame.